Smart is on Leonard. That has a chance to be a fun matchup. Jalen Brown on Paul George. That's a fun matchup as well. Zubox to Leonard. Shot clock at three. First shot is good. It's their decision making when they do so. Paul George launches a three and rattles that in. Patrick Beverly and Marcus Smart. Now that's that's a couple of pit bulls going at it. Paul George. That's why you love this guy. And then Paul George, get me in the bid post. I got a short guy on me. How sweet as that. We asked for a trade from Indiana. The first team on his list was the Spurs. Now they're actually teammates and have been bonding off the court this offseason with some fishing trips. Celtics shooting under 40%, but they still lead. And even after that three, still lead by one. Changes into the floor, reading his teammate, understanding that ball handlers to once played the three and the four for Pittsburgh, right? Tough-minded defensive program, but I never saw him as an NBA player. Paul George knocks it down. They really rely on him. Paul George, <laughs> full stroll down the lane. Game number four after a significant layoff. Don't stand up, Ennis Cantor, because that crossover is going to go right by you. And look at the, the English. George kicks it out beautifully. Nobody anywhere near Leonard. He's by Kawhi. Leonard fakes. And the pull-up line drive is good. That was close. George Kick pulled first. back. Three-pointer, Paul George. George with a hand in his face. That's a three. Paul George from downtown. He's now three for six, and he's got 18 points. Eight rebounds tonight. George drives right, and Tice gets knocked down. It's the line six times. and take six threes, you're going to up your scoring average over 20, and it's proved completely accurate. Oh, oh shit. Kawhi Leonard! Oh! So I think right now that the number one thing is George puts up another three and this time nails it and the Clippers go up one.